Good morning. How are you? I need to get up at a regular time every day so my body gets used to it. So I did a comic, wrote a comic about the concept that some people pointed out to me that um, previously protests die down because everyone has to go back to work and everybody's unemployed. So protests will just keep going because nobody, nobody has a job. And everybody's unemployed. Um, now, Obi helps me kind of chew on some of these concepts and he, you know, he plays devil's advocate of saying, you know, well, people are going to say the solution is, well, if it's too dangerous to go back to work, it's too dangerous to protest. I've stopped reading comments in my comics, any of the political ones. I just don't read the comments. Um, so last night I wrote out my comic and I, I was, I was about to pencil, I was about to ink it when he read on the news that New York was opening back up which defeats the point of the comic saying, we're not going anywhere, you have to make changes um, because we don't have jobs to go back to, so we're just gonna keep protesting. Uh, and so we added, a, we added a panel at the end of saying to the senators, you know, the, the, the lawmakers, you have to do something, we're not going anywhere. And then the last panel is, okay, we're just gonna open up the city. It's not what we meant. Um, cause yeah, New York's opening and I really, I, I pushed on having, you know, the, the tagline, pay no attention to the people behind the hospital curtains. Um, yeah, I'm hoping that, that, you know, we've, we've gotten, we've gotten kind of used to social distancing and masks and stuff. We, we did go for a walk the other day. Um, we're looking at Washington to move to because property taxes and income taxes are lower and it's very pretty. And we went for a walk around the lake and nobody had masks on. There was one group, we, we had masks on. One other group we passed had masks on. Everybody else who passed us uh, on a nature trail, nobody had masks on. So there's definitely portions of the country who don't see it as a threat. And I can, I can see that you don't, you know, you don't feel like you're affected by it. So you don't feel like it's affecting you. So you feel like it won't affect you <laughs> until it does. God, I'm still angsting about daycare. They open up on the 15th and I'm like, sure, why not? God, it's such a Jekyll and Hyde. Uh, everyone has to wear masks and social distance, but I'm gonna send my kid to daycare. They're taking a lot of steps, but anyway. Hi, good morning. Um, how was your weekend? It was a lovely weekend. Yeah. Uh, the little one watched The Sword in the Stone. Which the ending is weird. There's this whole, you know, it's, it's him running around the woods and being different animals, which is the squirrel scene again. And then at the end, they're like, oh, and then he pulls the stories from the stone and he's king. The end. It's a little jarring. Um, yeah. What do you want more of? Peanuts? Yes. Thank you for eating some of your cheese toast. We'll have more peanuts. Okay. You guys have fun. Do well. Wear your masks. Social distance. Go for a walk. Uh, enjoy yourself a little bit. Can you? Can you see? Yeah. Bye bye. What was that? Bye bye. Have fun.